Hello, good morning everyone! Today, I wanted to ask you, what are you thankful for? Oh, well, me, I'm thankful that Christmas is just only a few days away. And that's also why I'm wearing red today, because it's almost Christmas. Now we can start being thankful for Sunday school today. So let's go! Christmas is only a few days away. Do you remember our stories for the past two weeks? Yes, we've been reading about God's preparation for Jesus' birth. Today, we'll read about what happened during His birth, which is the reason why we celebrate Christmas. But before we begin, let's bow down our heads, close our eyes, and pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing Jesus to be born many years ago so we could be saved. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And with your Bibles, please turn them to Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 20. Let's go! During the time that Mary was pregnant with baby Jesus, the Roman Emperor Caesar Augustus announced that everyone needed to return to his hometown to be counted. And so Joseph and Mary left Nazareth and traveled to Bethlehem, the city of David. Mary and Joseph looked for a place to stay, but there was no room for them in the inn. So Mary and Joseph found a place where animals were kept. Finally, Mary had her baby, Jesus, in a manger. In a place outside the city, the shepherds were watching their sheep. Suddenly, a bright light appeared before them, and they were terrified. It was an angel of the Lord who said, Don't be afraid. I have come to bring you good news. This news is for all people. Today, a Savior, who is Messiah the Lord, was born for you in Bethlehem. You will find the baby wrapped snugly in cloth and lying in a manger. Many angels appeared. They praised God and said, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth. Peace, goodwill to all men. The angels left and the shepherds immediately went to Bethlehem to find baby Jesus. They found Mary, Joseph, and the baby who was lying in a manger. When the shepherds left, they told everyone they met about the child. Everyone was amazed at what the shepherds said. As the shepherds went back to their sheep, they praised God for everything they have seen and heard. Many remembered everything that had happened. And that ends our story today. Here are three reflection questions to reflect and answer together with your parents. Number one, why did Mary and Joseph have to travel to Bethlehem? Number two, how did the shepherds learn that the Savior was born? Number three, who can we share the good news with during this Christmas season? We learned that Jesus' birth was part of God's plan to save our world from sin. Now, let us all recite our memory verse. John chapter 3, verse 17. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through Him. John chapter 3 verse 17 Let's recite that once more. John chapter 3 verse 17 For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through Him. John chapter 3 verse 17 As we celebrate Christmas, let's not forget why we celebrate it. Because Jesus was born along with the promise that we could be reunited with God again. Now, I wonder what we'll make to remember this lesson. Let's find out! Hi everyone! For today's craft, we will be making the Baby Jesus Christmas ornament. We will be needing the following. Brown and yellow paper, some cotton, scissors, glue, colored markers, some string, and tape. Now we're ready for step one. Time to make the base. Draw a big star on the yellow paper and cut it out. Once you have your star, you can decorate it with your colored pens.
Once you're done with your star, time to cut out a piece of small brown paper and wrap it around the cotton ball to make baby Jesus. Once you're done, you can stick it onto your star and write the words Glory to the Newborn King. Don't forget to attach some string on top of your star. And there you have it, our Baby Jesus Christmas Ornament. I hope you enjoyed our arts and crafts today. I'll see you again next time. Bye!